We are welcome to have the opportunity to share the research findings of our team on hiding the virus. Today, our talk is called Exits in the Media, attacking further charging pairs and electric vehicles. First of all, please allow us to introduce ourselves briefly. I'm Wu Hui Yu. I'm a senior security researcher at Tencent Blaking. Now, I'm mainly focusing on IoT security research. I'm also a bug hunter, winner of Kibam, and speaker of BlackHat.com, Hacking Bugs, Catawast, and POC. And the other is my teammate, Yi Yuxia. He is also a senior security researcher at Tencent Blaking. Now he is focusing on mobile security and IoT security. He reported multiple vulnerabilities of Chrome and Android. He also was speaker of Black Hat, Defcon, Castle West, Hacking Bugs, and Tencent Blade Team was funded by Tencent Security Platform Department. Now we are focusing on security research in the areas of AIoT and cloud virtualization. We have reported uh, more than 200 vulnerabilities to vendors such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. And if you want to know more about uh, our team's research, you can visit our blog. Let's move on to today's topic. Our talk is mainly divided into four parts. The first part, we will introduce the electric car charging technology and standard. The second part, we will analyze the attack surface of electric charging. In the third part, we will introduce what is X in the media attack. And finally, we will introduce how we attack the plug and the charge technology in the real world. As everyone knows, the recent expansion of electric car market has promoted the construction of charging infrastructure. DC charging is the main charging technology in the future. It has higher charging power and in order to confirm the charging voltage and the current, the electric vehicle and the charging station will communicate after being connected to complete the handshake. There are different charging standards in different countries. For example, one electric car in China must support the GPT standard. Electric car use canvas to communicate with the charging pair. We are in most part of Europe. CCS standards are used, and electric cars and charging pairs use PLC to communicate, with the exception of Tesla, who has either own supercharger network of the world, it uses a private communication protocol. In addition, we also want to talk about why we choose to study the electric charging security. The main reason is that we find the electric vehicles infrastructure is making progress towards a more intelligent, more high-power direction. The construction of the charging station is accelerating all over the world, but there is nature where research on the security of electric vehicle infrastructure. In following section, we will briefly analyze the attack surface of electric vehicle charging. First of all, EV charging pairs are also IoT devices which usually have built in system and operating interfaces. We are facing security risk in hardware, systems, cloud service, and communications. 
and Alva Fox is on the schedule of the communication protocol between the electric weaker and the charging pair. This will be a new and interesting exploration. The following picture shows the process of charging a car at a DC charging station. Charge control communicates with the EMS before charging to confirm the parameter, such as the charging, voltage, and current, which involves a lot of data exchange. So, if we can implement a man-in-the-media attack, we may be able to find the uh, vulnerabilities in BMS and the charging control through buzzing. Or we can uh, analyze private protocol and bypass identity authentication mechanism. Or we can damage the car by temporary with the charging voltage and current. Next, we will share the section about X in the media attack. First, we will talk about its architecture. Then we will talk about the challenges and the solutions we encountered in the testing process. And finally, we will share the quick test conclusion on Tesla supercharger. In order to conduct security testing safely and carefully, we have designed a tool called X-Charger. The core of X-Charger is a data processing terminal based on HTML, MCU or Raspberry Pi, which isolates campus message from BMS and the charging pairs. All campus message cannot be transmitted normally until they are transferred through X charger, which allows us to monitor buzzing and temporary campus message in whole charging process. Another feature is that we designed the whole tour into a 20 inch grid case, which has two charging circuits. One is connected to the charging pair, and the other is connected to the electric breaker. And the high voltage current is directly connected, and the only four com com bus communicate interface are exported to ensure the high voltage safety. Next, let's talk about why we do this and the challenges we face. When we do security research, the most important thing is that is it should be able to the, ensure the personal safety and the vehicle safety. DC charging can reach a voltage of up to 750 watt or a current of 120 ampere. Once a, sh once a short current occurs, it's very dangerous for the test and the car. Secondly, we hope the attack equipment should be highly comfortable, suitable for all electric vehicles with Chinese DC charging standard. Instead of requiring customers uh, customization for each brand of electric cards or charging pairs. We also find the campus communication requires no latency and man in the media attacks needs to ensure the, the brains will not be dropped. We rented a Tesla Model 3 for testing and we found that its charging port exported the campus interface with a separate plug, which means that we may be able to disconnect the origin connection in the trunk to achieve a man in the media attack. But the problem is that we may need to the night damage, which doesn't seem suitable for such an operation on a rented breaker. In addition, 
we have also thought about transforming uh, Tesla's G- GBDC adapter for pocket capture. But we believe that uh, this also have a security risk and this doesn't apply, apply to other vehicles. A perfect solution we have given is the equipment show below. You can see that it has two charging sockets. One end is connected to the electric breaker, and the other end is connected to the charging connector. The compass interface of BMS and the, the compass interface of the charging pair are all exported are all exported on the surface. And at the same time, we have customers a dual plug charging cable to connect the equipment and the car. This equipment is designed by us and made by professional vendors in Shenzhen, China, which can ensure the safety of high voltage power use. There are many open source tools available for campus the mandatory, fuzzy, and temporary to use both the Raspberry Pi and the two-way CAM extension ports. We can use Python to develop a test for a testing framework on the built-in Ubuntu system. And due to the limited time, we will release more details and code in the future. We use XCharge to do a quick test on Tesla Supercharge in China. And the test results verify that the device can capture the message successfully. But we do not have any more tests because we do not have the DBC file to translate the compass message. We found that some of the message in Canvas Compass communication between supercharger and Model 3 use a uh, private protocols. And some message uh, conform to the GPT standard. Um, when testing with Model 3, there are a high probability that it will not be able to charge successfully. The reason is still being analyzed. If you want to uh, so if you want to reverse the, the complete protocol, it may be a, a bad choice to analyze the firmware of BMS or supercharger. In addition to the Tesla supercharger, we spend more time in public charging stations. In the following part, we will share how to attack uh, the plug and charging uh, technology in public charging stations in China. First, we will um, introduce the principle of um, plug and charge and how to use X charge to attack it to achieve free charging. Finally, we will give some security advice and briefly analyze the future trend of charging technology. Black and charge is a new way of automatically uh, payment uh, for EV charging. Users do not need to sweep their cards or scan cards. Just connect the charging pair to the weaker charging port to automatically complete the identity authentication and payment. For, in, for electric vehicle companies that, that build their own charging pairs, such as Tesla, private communication and authentication protocol can be used to, to ensure the security of plug and charge. And there are different implement implementation of plug and charge. The plan A is to install a camera near the charging pair to verify the record license plant for authentication. The plan B is to install a RFID tag 
uh, at the position of the electrical charging circuit and read the target content for a certification when the charging gun is connected. And the plan C is the SPK is the SPK private by charging pair operate is built into the intelligent system of electric vehicles. And the authentication is automatically completed when the vehicle reaches the charging station and uh, opens the charging cover. And the last plan is the vehicle's VIN number is transmitted for authentication during the charging handshake process. Considering the capability um, and the cost, some public charging station operators have chosen the, to use the VIN to complete vehicle identity authentication on basis uh, of GPT standard. Operators do, do not realize the VIA is a security, is not a security uh, authentication in in a uh, insecure compass communication. GBT standard is the Chinese standard for electric vehicle battery charging. Cable charging standard GBT is based on SAE and uses the compass with a point-to-point -point connection between the charger and the battery manager system. A transmission rate of 250 kbits per second is used by default. Charging communication involves both BMS and the charging uh, control. With the GPT protocol, uh, communication is divided into following parts during the charging process. In the handshake recognition, um, the charging connection check is completed and general information such as protocol vision and vehicle information. For example, the battery temp, vehicle and dedication number, and so on, is changed. What we are most concerned about is that during the handshake, the BMS will transmit the VM number to the uh, charging pair. After actual testing, we use CANTORS and uh, the DBCFL to successfully transmit all messages during the charging process. We found the BMS of electric vehicle transmitted it the vehicle's VN to the charging pair for identity, for identity authentication in EMA in the BRM message during the handshake recognition. The following is the complete plug and charge the architecture. First, the car owner needs to register and bend the vehicle's VM number on charging pair operator's application and activate uh, automatic payment. Secondly, when the car owner is charging, he only needs to uh, directly plug and uh, charging gun into the electric car to charge. The Charging pair will upload, upload the VN transmitted from the BMS to operators to the operator's uh, uh, cloud server. And the operator will query and return the user's uh, credence correspond, corresponding to the VN in the background database. After the charging pair receives the user's uh, credence, it will, it will start charging and automatically pay, pay at the end of the charge. 
weaker authentication number is a unique code, including a three number used by automotive history to to identity and diversion weakers. The biggest problem is the VIN is a public plain text information with specific coding rules and that can also be obtained from the front windshield of the car. In order to configure the attack script quickly, we have written a tool that it means function includes the uh, temporary of VIN, charging, voltage, and current. It uh, also supports the BMS simulation so that we can test uh, the charging pair without a weaker. The following uh, is the ruler of X charger in the attack process. Uh, it can hijack the message between the car and the charging pair. In order to verify our tools in the real world, we rented five electric cars of different models and tested multiple charging stations that support plug and charge. We verified that after obtaining the, the after obtain the VN on the windshield of the vehicle, the charging pair can be successfully attacked by X charge to achieve free charging. And now all, all the availability we found have been notified to the vendor and fixed it. Okay, my part is over. The following time will be shared by my college in uh, Yuxian. Thank you. Thanks. I will continue to share the following part in this part. I will give some security advice and introduce some of the latest charging standards. But charging pipes operators can deploy a risk control system to crack up battery information, such as battery time, capacity, manufacturers, product data, battery pack serial numbers, numbers of charge, transmit during the charging handshake process of vehicles that use the plug and charge function and generate the corresponding electric vehicle's fingerprint information. Since the attacker cannot know the detailed battery information of the target vehicle in advance, simply tampering with the VRN cannot pass the fingerprint information verification, and the risk control systems can accurately detect the attacks and black it. The first plan at once is low cost, no need for additional hardware modification, and its disadvantage is because parts of the battery information, such as battery pack serial number, charging, charging times, is an optional transmission items in GBT27930 and part of the battery information of the of a specific models is public. So the risk control systems may not be able to crack enough information to ensure security. security. For the two-way authentication scheme, charging pipes Operators need to cooperate with electric vehicles manufacturers to ensure security. This may require adding a public key transmission function to a uh, to the vehicle's BMS firmware or implementing a need fails communication function need the between the vehicles and the charging pipe or use a specific provide protocols for communication. Advantage, very secure. You can mit mitigate 
mitigate the risk of middle attacks. Disadvantage, high cost, not compatible with all vehicles. According to the new, the next generation charging standard Chaoji, dominated by China and Japan, will be officially released. It is improving the security of many communications and identity authentication. Chaoji charging support plug and trust, V2X, and other new technology applications. Some of the security risk mentioned in our talks may be resolved. In addition, we also see another new standard, ISO 1511A. It is a standard for vehicle to grid communication. Use symmetric encryption and di digital signatures to ensure the security of communication between electric cars and charging stations and supports plug and charge. It uses PLC communications, which is mainly used in Europe. Through the discussions of these trains, we are very happy to see that security has become a must be considered in these standards. We believe that in the near future, when these new technologies and new standards are applied in the real world, they will promote the security developments of the entire electric vehicle charging industry. Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, you can contact us by this email.